Hello and welcome to a brand new edition of Sidelines. I'm Jimmy Johnson. We have three great features to kick off the 2011 season of Sidelines. Men's and women's basketball have completed their non-league schedules and will open the Patriot League slate this weekend. At the forefront of it all are matchups between American and Lehigh on both the men's and women's side. The American men led the Patriot League in non-league play with a 10-5 record and will host the 9-6 Lehigh Mountain Hawks at 2 p.m. on Saturday. A big reason for the Eagles' fast start is senior forward Vlad Moldoviano. The Romanian native has had an interesting road to becoming the league's leading scorer. Here's Dan Lang with the story. The men's basketball team started off the season on a five-game winning streak, the best start since 1985. And one of the biggest reasons, Vlad Moldovanu. He's averaging 20 points a game. Let's meet him. I got interested in basketball because of my parents. It just came natural to me. I didn't even think about it. It was like second nature to me. Uh, I've always dreamt about playing in the U.S. It was my freshman year of high school. And um, it was between turning pro, going to Italy or Slovenia, and coming here. One of my assistant coaches, Dennis Murphy, went over to uh, Romania to meet Vlad's mom, Carmen, and Vlad. It was his dream uh, to come over to the United States to, you know, to get an education and, and to play basketball. I still remember Coach Murphy just standing there. I was standing there, I was hoping my mom would say yes. Vlad's mom, Carmen, is, is a wonderful woman. She's the president of uh, uh, the Romanian Basketball Federation and very, very involved in basketball. For him to leave, it was a big thing, especially when your mom is the president of the Federation because they like to keep their best players uh, at home. He's a big presence for us. He's a, you know, another option for us to score. And um, he's doing the same thing he's doing now, he was doing back then. So like what he's doing now is no surprise to me. And I, honestly, I expect it out of him because I think he's that good of a player. Chris Wright was, is a great player and Vlad's a great player. And to have those two play so well together, it just was just very, very difficult to defend for other teams. And uh, we haven't had a one-two punch like that since they've left. His potential is unlimited, and I wouldn't be surprised where he ends up. When I visited here, I felt like kind of the same thing I feel at St. John's. They were a family. The intensity I saw when I first came here, it just I knew I was going to end up here. I mean, I took some other visits, but on, my, on the back of my mind, I knew I was going to come here. It didn't take long for him to fit in with the guys. It was, uh, I guess, what they call a seamless transition. They liked him immediately. Uh, certainly, everybody knew that he was a good player, but he didn't act like he was a good player. Uh, he was always, always has been one of the hardest workers. Since I got here, uh, I definitely improved my ball handling. At the same time, I've, I've also become stronger. And, uh, a little bit faster, and uh, I think a better defender. Vlad playing on the the Romanian national team, um, you know, I, I think has, has been a big positive, uh, you know, for for him, um, and, and something that that means a lot to him. I love playing for a national team. It's it, it's, it's about pride for me. It's about respect, and uh, it's about the place that uh, you know I, I started basketball in. I can't imagine really my summers without playing for the national team. I plan on entering the NBA draft after this. Uh, we'll see how that goes. And uh, if I get drafted, then I guess one of my dreams kind of came through. Then uh, if not, I'll probably head back to Europe. Uh, definitely play my national team in August. And then uh, I'll see what's on the table after that. Now, Vlad's already won Patriot League Player of the Week awards twice this year, and at that rate, he's a contender for Patriot League Player of the Year in his final season. Thank you, Dan. A few hours after Moldaviano and the Eagles finished their game against Lehigh, the American and Lehigh women's teams will tip off in a rematch of last season's Patriot League Championship game. The Mountain Hawks won that game in March last season, and they've won nine straight here in 2010 and 11. American has been just as good winning eight straight. Lehigh's Matt Marcus interviewed coach Sue Troyan and junior guard Ali Bioric after their non-league win over LaSalle. Here's what they had to say.
Back here at Stabler Arena, Matt Marcus with the head coach of Lehigh Women's Basketball, Sue Troyan. Coach, 85-67, a winner. Nine games in a row now. Has your team gotten to the point where you want them to be going into Patriot League play? Yeah, I think we're in a good place. Um, you know, I think especially coming off of uh, Thursday's win over Mississippi State, I think that was the first time that I saw them starting to truly believe in their potential. And, you know, we really talk, emphasized in this game today not kind of letting down after a big win like that. And I thought they came out, played really hard, um, got a lot of people in the game, um, got a lot of people minutes, and had a nice, lot of nice performances too. So, you know, um, really – really right where we would want to be going into Patriot League play in a week. Courtney Nettler maybe had a quiet Christmas City Classic scoring just seven points uh, in those combined two games. Bounce back today, you like what we see out of her? Yeah, I mean, it, you know, honestly, the emergence of Alexa has been just great for our program. I think you know, we've talked a lot about it as a staff, getting her kind of ready for Patriot League play. And, you know, Courtney does what, exactly whatever you ask of her. I mean, she, you know, Alexa kind of stepped in at the Christmas City Classic play great. You know, Courtney did her thing defending, rebounding, and then today we needed her to score, and she stepped in and, and scored. So I really, I've, I've said all along, I think those three posts can be three of the best posts in the in the league, and I think, you know, nobody in our league has depth like that at that rotation, really looking at, you know, three, honestly, kids that could be three of the best at their position in the league. Your non-league schedule is done. Now you just get to focus on the main goal of the season. Mm -hmm. Do you like where you're at right now? Um, You know, there's... It, there's always more to work towards. You know, I don't think that we should settle for where we are at right now, but I think that we have been getting better every game, which is a good thing for us. And I think that we're in a good position starting league, league play. You know, we've had some tough games. We played a hard non-league schedule. But um, I think everything's really starting to come together at a good time, you know, right before American. And I think we're all very excited to get going with league play. Is it good that you're going to take on American first? I mean, that's a team that... You battled it out with them last year for the league title. Technically, they're supposed to win with you guys second. Yeah. Is it good to just get that out of the way right away? Um, we were talking about it. We feel like it's more of like the last game of the season, you know, like right. you work towards the play American. But that's the way the schedule is, and there's nothing we can do about it. So it's a great way to open up the season. It's a good game. It's going to be very competitive, and we're just all really excited. Thanks, Matt. The American Lehigh matchups are just two of eight games this weekend that will be available in the Patriot League's All Access channel. Be sure to sign up for your subscription today. We'll return to sidelines after this quick 30 second break. See every buzzer shot, hear every cheer on All Access. Watch the Eagles, watch the Black Knights, and watch the Bison, watch the Raiders, watch the Crusaders. Watch the Leopards and watch the Mountain Hawks. See all Navy action and all Patriot League action on Patriot League All Access. The game is on no matter where you are. Look forward to seeing you then. Welcome back to Sidelines. With the bowl season coming to a close, football is ready to go into hibernation until spring practice. But before we can completely move on, we must take a look at Bucknell's Travis Nisley. The league's two-time Scholar Athlete of the Year was in New York City in December as a finalist for the Campbell Trophy. Here's Bucknell's Doug Bird song with the story. Bucknell University student athletes are always at the top, both academically as well as on their field of strife. And no truer example of that can be made than Travis Nisley. He's a member of the Buckdale football team this year. Travis became only the second ever Buckdale student athlete to be named by the National Football Foundation as a scholar athlete. This piece is going to follow his exploits at the Waldorf Astoria in New York City. And it's called Don't Stop Believing." On December 7th, Bucknell senior linebacker Travis Nisley was joined on stage at New York City's Waldorf Astoria by such luminaries as comedian Bill Cosby and news anchor Tom Brokaw as part of the festivities of the National Football Foundation's annual awards dinner where the college football academic Heisman, the William V. Campbell Trophy, was awarded. 
Nisley was able to record many of the activities of the day and a half worth of events from the induction of the 2010 College Football Hall of Fame class, which included Michigan's Desmond Howard and former Wisconsin coach Barry Alvarez, among others, to the festivities that night at the impressively decorated Waldorf Astoria. Although Nisley didn't walk off the stage with the Campbell Trophy, he was one of 15 honored as a NFF National Scholar Athlete and awarded an $18,000 postgraduate scholarship. Travis and David Whitey Bernardinelli are Bucknell's only NFF National Scholar Athletes. Nisley is also a two-time Patriot League Scholar Athlete of the Year. And he and some other Bison football student athletes have put their Bucknell studies, and in some cases engineering degrees, to good use, designing a festive music synchronized Christmas light show at their Lewisburg apartment. Thanks, Doug, and thank you for joining us here on this week's edition of Sidelines. Be sure to catch up with us again next week here on All Access. Also, be sure to check out the Patriot League's 20th anniversary page where you can listen to exclusive interviews with longtime Patriot League members. Also, remember you can follow the Patriot League on Facebook or Twitter. For more information and final scores on this weekend's basketball openers, log on to PatriotLeague.com or catch Tuesday's edition of Road to the League Championships right here on All Access, where we will deliver video highlights and recaps of all eight games. Have a great weekend.